All right, this is Sean Wyatt with my official first video. Figured I'd jump right back into it. Just put this kid down for bed and uh, I got some free time. So I figured the first video I want to hit on is with all this hype about the measles outbreaks, I figured that would be a good place to start. Um, so let's talk about that for a little bit. Um, I'm just gonna bring up, this is my YouTube page here. I wanna bring up this first. For those of you who don't know, back in 2004, a CDC scientist, a whistleblower, came out, and this is the hearings, this is his attorney uh, reading his statements. He had whistleblower uh, status, so nothing would happen to him with coming out with this, um, that the MMR, was indeed linked to aut autism and on top of that it if the, uh, the child and black children it was even a higher risk and they decided to uh, just cover that up commit fraud and they've known this since 2004 and to this day the MMR has still get, been given to uh, children multiple times in their lifetime up to uh, eight before they're even 18 so nothing's been done if you was to get on a stand and say I have injured or killed thousands of children uh, they, would, they would come to your door and, and take you away nope not if you're a CDC protected by big pharma lobbyist and th this is this is how corrupt the system is you know when they say the science is settled and vaccines don't cause autism, they are lying. They are flat out lying. And here is the CDC whistleblower. This is, I'm gonna give this just a segment of this. I'm gonna link this video um, in my, down below so you can uh, check out this whole thing in context. He's just now talking about that they found the significant even more chance of autism in black children, and then goes on to say this. Combined between August and September 02, not to report any race effects for the paper. Sometime soon after the meeting, we decided to exclude reporting any race effects. The co-author scheduled the meeting to destroy documents related to the study. The remaining four co-authors all met and brought a big garbage can into the meeting room and reviewed and went through all the hard copy documents that we had thought we should discard and put them in a huge garbage can. However, because I... All right, he goes, I don't want to play too much of this. I don't know how copyrights work anymore, but um, basically what he's going to go on to say is it was this whistleblower decided this was wrong something's probably going to come of this he held on to these documents and decided to bring them out it was william thompson i say um it he's also talked about in the movie vaxxed if you have not seen vax check it out it's all about basically the mmr vaccine and the fraud behind it because that's a you know it's not just mmr that's bad that's a good place to start because we have documented real evidence showing that the CDC is covering up, you know, this fraud, and basically the vaccine doesn't work. It's been proven over and over. Merck is actually in the middle of being sued for the last decade because they falsified their mumps um, vaccine, which is in the MMR. So the whole, the whole deal is nothing but fraud. Um, it's basically a way to poison you, poison you and your children and make you lifetime, basically, victims to the pharmaceutical companies. So, uh, but Dale here was on the doctor's TV show as a journalist, found out what was going on, broke away, felt like he needed to do his own thing, and now he does the high wire. So I would definitely recommend you going over to the High Wire and you know subscribing to that YouTube channel and watching him. He's doing 
awesome things into the vaccine, anti-vaccine movement. And, you know, he says he's not anti-vaccine. He just wants good vaccines, good science. And, you know, I see his approach, but in, in a roundabout way, I think he does it to not get more crap. Not to say he's anti-vax because there is no good vaccines. And he'll say that. And the best thing for us is our own immune system and let that work for us. The vaccines have been proven to destroy the immune system and actually make it work against itself. Like I said, I'll do videos on all these particular topics because this topic is so big, you have to kind of slice and dice it little at a time. Another good page, Dr. Dale Brown, also known as the Wild Doc. A little bit crazy, kind of funny, but he brings out some hard evidence. He brings out all the documents. He, sh he links the documents. In his videos, he does live streams on Facebook. He, sh you know, shows you the sources, shows you the studies that they say are these safety studies, and basically showing you that no, there's no safety studies. They're they're not doing double blind placebos. You know, they they change in the middle of the studies the group because it's not they're not getting the results they want. He proves all this. You know, shows every link to all these studies. And, and also, Dale, you know, Dale, he does that too. I mean, you can, in, on the high wire, he streams live and you can get all the sources straight from him too. So it's, these are some good pages to get a lot of info on vaccines. And I think that's a good place to start because, uh, you know, this, this whole push, this fear mongering in the news right now about measles is insane. Measles is a childhood disease that has never been deadly here in the United States, you know, in, in these one, in these countries that are actually, you know, wealthy, not, we're not talking third world countries here. We're talking United States. We're talking, you know, uh, Japan, we're talking, you know, England, all these places that are built up and wealthy and, you know, not got malnutrition issues and, you know, it, that's what's insane is when you argue with a, a pro-vaxxer, they sit there and say, well, this many people died in the world. We're not talking about the world, all right? We're talking about right here in, in these countries that are not starving and not malnutritioned, all right? Nobody, unless, you know, there's special cases where people, yes, already have autoimmune diseases, already have issues that could die from these diseases, and that's horrible, but... It happens, but normal circumstances, somebody with a healthy immune system is not going to die from the measles or the chicken pox or any of these diseases. It's a fact that polio, before the vaccine, in most cases, you would have never known you had polio. It's more, no more than cold symptoms. That's the true history of polio. You know, we'll get into that too, but, um, you know, it, it's all been fear-mongering. Before... The measles vac you know, vaccine came out. You know, it was it was joked about on TV shows. All the way back, go back to the Flintstones. You know, go back to the Brady Bunch. All these older shows joke about the measles because it was it was just a childhood disease. You got you were sick for a week. You got over it, and guess what? You was immune for life. No toxins, and then you know the way you're exposed to these things is in a natural environment. You breathe this stuff in, you take it in through the, you know, normal ways that your body's supposed to react to these diseases and attack them, not being shot directly into your bloodstream, into your muscles, bypassing all your defenses, defenses, and your body goes into this crazy attack mode to where it doesn't know what's going on. Next thing you know, it's attacking itself, and that's, well, that's exactly what an immune disease is. Now you're doing this how many times in one visit? I, I think I counted. Um, I got this paper from the insurance company, you know, saying get, you know, child, make sure your child's updated on the vaccines. And I looked just from their two months to six month visits, I believe, counting, not counting the jazz, but counting because the, you know, MMR is three and one. So counting how many vaccines you would actually get 
it was like 21, 21 within four, within a four month span. That's insanity. You were pumping mercury, aluminum, formaldehyde, aborted baby fetuses. So that's human DNA, animal DNA, polysorbate 80, which opens up the blood to brain barrier, allowing the aluminum and all these other toxins to enter your brain. This is all in the vaccine ingredients. A lot of these vaccines come with black box inserts that you will never see from your doctor and will be, never be told about. If you ask for them, they just hand you this little paper with all these little minor, you know, effects that could happen, uh, dizziness, soreness at the site of injection, fatigue, all this, you know, crap. They never tell you about the death, the autism, the neurological damages, all that, you know, that's on the actual insert. Get educated, people. That's all I'm saying. You know, go subscribe to these places. Start doing your own research. Find out, you know, what's all about the CDC whistleblower. You know, what's, what's going on there? Why is nothing being done? Why are all these states starting to mandate, mandate and take away the parents' rights to choose if they want to vaccinate their kids or not? You know, all these... Uh, Different, like California took away all exemptions. States or other states are trying to follow suit. Big Pharma is in everybody's pocket right now. They own the media. They're starting to own these, uh, you know, legis legislators and on these all these people making these laws. They're lobbying them, and it's that it's insane. People need to stand up and say no, and that's, you know, where Dale comes in, you know, he he's getting a lot of groups together and going and fighting these uh, people in these states and, and pointing out the evidence, you know, pointing out these whistleblowers and pointing out the fact that, you know, all this is, all this corruption, it's all lies. There's, there's no safety studies. Uh, it's, it's pure fraud. There's not much more I can say about it. So, you know, I, I would take my kid that's unvaccinated against any vaccinated kid health-wise, uh, development-wise, and it'd be night and day. I can see it. I see it in all of these children around me, and it, it's sad. I, I mean, I go to... I go to a gym or workout and you know they they bring their children in and I can see it in their eyes I can see and, and some of them are just so damaged and you know I go to the mall and I, I, I mean it's unreal I, just, I can literally go into places and see some lady with two children one of them is obviously autistic on the spectrum in some way the other one might be fine and that's exactly what the stats are starting to show Every one in two kids are right now almost coming out with some kind of being on a spectrum, some kind of neurological damage. I mean, that's not even counting the asthma and allergies. And that's what people don't know, understand is that is all neurological you know, disorders caused probably by the vaccines, the adjuvants and the vaccines like the aluminum and the mercury and the polysorbate, polysorbate 80. So I really encourage people to start doing the research if they don't know any of this and, you know, then start looking into detoxing. If you've already vaccinated or you vaccinated your children, you know, and you're like, what have I done? I want to stop. You know, that's when you can start looking into detoxing and you know look on, on for the on the health side you know which I'll get into that in other videos but for now I'm going to